Everybody, uh, one of the biggest messes and one of the things I do not like about my personal setup is the fact that I use two keyboards and two mice to control both of my PCs. So I really, I'm trying to figure out a better way of managing that, managing my desk space, and I think I have found a solution that I'm willing to at least give a try and share with you guys. So this, turn it into focus here if you can see it. The Ugreen 4-port USB 3.0 switch box. So I'm going to open this up and we'll see what this little guy does. I got this on Amazon. I'll provide the link in the description. Using my knife to open the box up. I hope that doesn't uh, break any terms of services. But, you know. But uh, I was recommended to this uh, piece of equipment by the developer, one of the developer, co-developers of Touch Portal. He just bought him one of these. He bought the uh, 2.0 version of it. It was a little cheaper. Uh, this retails for, oh, what is that? Is that it? This is a little guy. I don't know what it is yet. Hold on. Feels like there's a lot more in here. Yeah, definitely a lot more. I don't know what that is. We'll figure out what, figure out what this is in a second. So we've got the box here. So, okay, so this is a USB 3.0 cable, as you can see. Standard. Two cables. All right. So you got two standard USB 3.0 cables. So this must be the box. Wow, this thing's tiny. Uh, for reference, uh, let's see. This is my Samsung Galaxy S7. So you can kind of see what the size is of how small that is. That's a, it's pretty tiny actually. I was expecting this to be, I mean, look at the box. The box was mostly the cables. It does come with instructions too. A thank you card from you, Green. Let me get it out of the, out of the key light so you can actually read it. There you go. And then the instructions would have just dropped on the floor. But this should be pretty self-explanatory. So, let's see. Get a protective covering, protective plastic off this thing. The static plastic, I like to call it. And, all right. So, we have a box for USB 3.0 inputs to USB 3.0 outputs, these will go to your PCs. And then you have a USB, micro USB power port, but we do not have a micro USB power cable or adapter. That sucks. So probably, I mean, I don't know. It looks like it's the standard thing everybody's going to use on their phones to charge. So it looks like they're expecting everybody to have a hundred of these things laying around their house. Which I do, so it's not a huge issue, but I would, you know, it'd be nice if they actually came with one. And it has a switch. I've already got fingerprints all over it, but it's got a switch on the top so you can switch between your PCs. All right, so uh, it's pretty light. It doesn't have a lot of weight to it. Um, it hardly weighs anything, to be honest with you. So we'll go ahead and hook these up anyway. So what I plan to do with this is to use this to switch the keyboard and mouse over to both of my PCs, so I can only use, I only have to use one mouse and keyboard and I can get rid of the second one. One of the things that I was worried about with this USB switch especially when it comes to playing gameplay like Battlefield 5 where input is so important and you need quick response, near zero response on your mouse, on your keyboard, was the input lag that was caused by using this switch, uh, you know, that's external to your PC. Well, I did not note any input lag whatsoever when it came to using the switch. Uh, it felt just as if it was connected to the back of my motherboard, which is wonderful. Additionally, I was also worried about switching between both of the computers, 
you know, switching to the stream PC and back to the game PC and what effect that would have with the in-game movement. And I'm here to say it had no effect at all uh, on Battlefield 5 in full screen. I was able to switch out, go do stuff on the stream PC real quick, and then hit the button, switch back to the game PC, and, and it started right where I left off with no issues at all, which actually kind of surprised me with Battlefield 5 because Battlefield 5 is notorious for you know freezing and stuff like that when you're in a full screen uh, mode and you like alt tab and do that sort of thing. I f felt like it was going to have that sort of effect, but it didn't. It actually swapped back in no problems at all. So I'm very happy with that. Overall, I'm be honest with you, I'm very happy with the how this switch is working. I have not had any issues with it at all. Say one time I noticed that the keyboard went out of sync for a second while I was on the stream PC, but it's, you know I gave it about another half a second and it came back in sync. That's the only time I ever saw an issue with it. So you may see that on your setup. I'm not 100% sure if it was uh, my, my problem, my stream PC's issue specifically, or something with the Switch. But regardless, I've only seen it one time. And since then, it's, you know, worked great. And I streamed for three hours straight today using this and switching between stream PC, game PC. No issues at all. So definitely a great and worthy investment. All right, the Ugreen USB 3.0 four-port USB switch. You can find it on Amazon. I'll provide the affiliate link down below if you want this. It doesn't cause you any extra to click on the link, but it does help me out. So anyway, I hope you can find it useful. It is, you know, it's cheap, comparatively speaking. Um, it provides a lot of functionality. I will say if you're going to use a, 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 an external hard drive or a webcam on this, you need to use the power. So you'll need to hook up a micro USB power adapter to it. Unfortunately, it does not come with one. If you're just using keyboard and mouse like I am, you don't need it and it works great. Okay, so... Anyway, uh, that's really it. If you got any questions, I will do a video. I'm going to compare this to some free alternatives that uh, are out there, including one that's made by Microsoft, and we'll see how each of those compares. And if the free version works just as well as this USB switch, then, hey, I'll let you know on the channel. So anyway, guys, I hope you liked it. Make sure you hit the like, please. Those likes help me out a lot, and they get the video exposed. And, you know, hey, I th think more people need to know about this if they have a two PC streaming setup or if they want to use, you know, use this as a USB hub. I mean, that's essentially what it is. It just allows you to switch between two PCs. So it would, it's really nice. With that being said, uh, Patreon, guys, if you want to support me on Patreon, make sure you go check out my Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash frugal streamer, just like these fine people did. Uh, I got different tier levels of support there that offer different perks. And if you want to support and you get some nice swag out of it and you get some good, uh, I mean, you can get custom overlays, all kinds of stuff if you decide to join. So anyway, I do appreciate any support you give. And other than that, I just want to see you come back. So make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel, hit the notification so you know when a video goes live. All right, guys, thanks. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.